As I'm sure you all probably know, I am the principal of the third desk of the cello section of the Woking Philharmonic. But I'd like you to think of me as just Marge. <laughs> of course, I have been accustomed to the loftier peaks of the sub-principal position of the first desk of the cello section of the Woking Phil. But since my highly individual interpretation of Delius on hearing the first cuckoo in spring at last season's closing concert at the Fairfield Hall, the leader of the cello section explained to me that my presence was perhaps more helpful to some of my weaker colleagues closer to the double basses. <laughs> Up the back. And on reflection, I realised that with a talent such as myself, one simply can't be selfish and must help out where one can. In fact, you could say that I am a true pioneer of the cellistic art, in spite of my obvious affiliation with that tragic heroine of the cello, Jacqueline Dupre to whom I sometimes fancy in certain lights I do bear a certain resemblance. Anyway, I'm thrilled that Geoffrey Major, my pianist, is once again able to accompany me in today's little recital. Prize winner at the Isha and District Piano Playing Competition, Jeff's early promise was sadly cut short by the war. <laughs> but happily lives on in our Thursday evenings when we love to bash through the brats and indulge ourselves with some of my famous ginger sponge cake in a glass or two of Harvey's Bristol Cream, medium sweet, which Jeff insists helps him navigate some of the trickier passages. <laughs> you do, Jeff. <laughs> well, enough of my chat. I know you haven't come here to hear me talking today about my musical memories all my sponge cake we are delighted to play for you today one of the great masterpieces of the cello repertoire made immortal by Anna Pavlova <laughs> the Russian prima ballerina Assoluta not the dessert <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I give you from the pen of Camille Sanson Last Senior, the Swan. <laughs> 